death upon yourself. So? And we, and we about to bring this out now to show uh, again, and the same thing we bring it out is to show how important the internet is to the gospel in the last days. It's in the scripture. So you know, like I said again, and we stated, I told Amaral, look, when you do a job, you got certain work materials that you're gonna need. If you're if you're a plumber, there's certain tools that you need to do that job. You need a tool belt. You need a plunger. You need different stuff. If you're gonna build a house, you're a carpenter. You're gonna need certain tools. When you're ready to try to build a most house house, you need certain work, work uh, things that are required for the job. One of which uh, is a phone to be contacted, all right? Computer, to be able to keep up with what's going on. Internet access is another, all right? Also, um, uh, uh, you need Bibles, you need garments, there's many things that you need. So you have to have certain stuff and you shouldn't stop at nothing. And you should put those things first. And that also shows that you ain't, you ain't been doing that. Because as of date, you don't have a phone that brothers can contact you. You said you got limited internet access. You always complain about your computer breaking down or whatever that you can't upload videos, right? All right, and you don't have a camera, all right? But let's find out what the scriptures say. Psalms uh, 19. All right. The heavens declare the glory of the Most High, right? And the firmament shows His handiwork. Right. You can look at the firmament and whatnot and know that the Most High exists. Go ahead, bro. Day unto day, utter utter speech. Uh huh. And night unto night, show of knowledge. Right. Day unto day, utter speech. And night unto night, knowledge. Go ahead. There is no speech nor language. There is no voice. It's, it's not heard. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. What is this going into? It's going into the internet. All right, the airwaves going across the firmament. Okay. Their line is going out through all the earth. Their line is going out through all the earth. The information superhighway. And the elders brought this out many times. All right, I even did a lesson on it. Uh, I think it was one true, but these devils trying to shut down SkyTube and certain other sites to stop the word. They was also deleting all our pages and our videos off of, off of YouTube. Why? Because they know that, that internet is, is what's driving the truth. As the elders and brothers state emphatically that the most high set of the internet only for the truth to be pushed in the last days. All the rest of this shit that people do on the internet, they just do what they always do. They take something and the most high created for good and they use it for evil. All right. Their words to the, uh, the their line is going out through all the earth, right. and their words to the end of the world. Right. Their line is going out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. That's unmistakable. What that what that's talking about. That's talking about the internet. And without your videos being there, what about the other Israelites on the other side of the world? What about people that are? Well, I know when I can't walk up to the truth, and these brothers say the same thing. When we walk up to the truth. We could not stop watching the videos on the internet. It was like we was addicted to it. You know, it was the only thing that made us feel at peace. And it's the best thing that ever happened to us is the truth. And it's the only thing that we really live for. Now, everything else we do around that, we're just trying to survive another day till perhaps we can get to see the salvation. This is Romans chapter 10, verse 16 through 18. It yep. says, but they have not obeyed Uh, Romans 10 and 14. Right. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? Right. Go ahead. And how shall they believe in him whom they have not heard? Yep. And how shall they hear without a preacher? That's why the Most High sent us. I will send you pastors after my own heart and will feed you with knowledge and understanding. Go ahead. And how shall they preach except they be sent? How shall they preach except they be sent and chosen? Go ahead. As it is written, mm -hmm. how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. That's right. But they have not all, not all obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah said, Lord, who have believed our report? <coughs> right. So then faith cometh by hearing, mm -hmm. and hearing by the word of God. And how are they going to hear? You know, when, when without the private, internet. Yeah. Right, when it's on private, your video's on private, how are they going to hear? How are they going to hear when you refuse to buy a camera because of whatever you think that somebody's going to criticize about? You got to worry about, like the scripture say, uh, I think it's in Timothy, uh, uh, that you may please him, that have chosen him to be a soldier. You got to you gotta please the most high. Don't worry about it. You, you know, we, we, of course we try to, if, if, if the elders follow after the most high, do everything that he said, then of course we follow them. All right? But our main goal is to please the most high. But you also do that by following the men that the most high set up. 
and doing it like man as you see them do when have you ever seen the elders go uh, from october to damn what then all the way to the next month or uh, to the next year until the fourth month and not upload any videos man the elders been constantly feeding us and raising us up and you're supposed to feed the flock your house i said feed my sheep that's right if you love me feed my sheep verse 18 but i say have they not heard right. yes barely their sound went into all the earth Ooh. and their words unto the ends of the world. Right, going perfectly with what we read in Psalm. I'm mean, gonna have a brother read that again in Psalm. Alright. Read those again, Read that part. Romans 10 and 18, but I say, have they not heard? Mm -hmm. Yes, verily, their sound went into all the earth and their words unto the ends of the world. Right, and everybody know about the Hebrew Israelites, everybody know about the guys on the corner. That's rebuking people, that's saying America's gonna be destroyed, that's right. that the so-called white man going into slavery, that you come from Esau, all right? Everybody knows about that. They try to pretend like they don't know, but the gospel is having an effect on them. That's why they come out with a series like Elder Saul was going into about the Bible, and they'll mix in lies of truth. They got Samson looking like a real Jake or whatever, and then they got Mary looking like a white lady, all right? You know, that, that's ridiculous. Got Moses looking white, right? When they all, they all were all related. You know, you can't have so-called Jesus looking like a white man, all right, then have King David looking like a white man, but then Solomon's black. They, yeah. You can't have that because they're in the same lineage. They come from the same people. It's Noah, ridiculous. Noah's white. Yeah. You don't see Shim Ham and Jaffet in that whole first exactly. five minutes of that madness. Right. And, and History Channel, man, you're going to be decimated and destroyed right. in the spirit of the Hound Bashan by right. the man of the Lord. Yep. You don't have to worry about the simple ass niggas that's out here that claim they ain't white, but they ain't teaching the truth. You're going to be challenged by Greg Wilson. You're going to be shown to be simps. That's right. And like you said, why do people know about us? Because they're internet. Because their words, are, are their line is going out through all the earth and their words to the end of the world. That's how people know about this truth. They know about us. The elites, the celebrities, the movie stars, the athletes, they all know about the truth. Okay? Yeah. Let me say something yeah. like that. And that simple ass nigga Chingy, man, mm -hmm. you better get your um, act correct, man. You get destroyed. Up there big enough to bubble eyes, man. Right. All these videos on the internet, and, and if you pass, uh, uh, get in, you know, a whiff of Israel, let everybody know that the only people that's out there pushing the hardest and really edifying, it ain't worthless uh, pushing, yeah. it's Great Millstone, man. Right. And yeah. you, you simp ass niggas, they still gonna kill you simp ass niggas of course. In, in the entertainment world, regardless if you come out and say you're Israelite or not. That's right. Yeah. Okay? Because you sold out and you don't have to pay for that. And I wanna say niggas like Mike Epps. Yeah. When you mock the Israelites, this is what's gonna really happen. You think you're mocking us, you ain't mocking us. You mocking the Most High. You think you you are mocking us and you making it seem like you making fun of the Hebrew Israelites for the sake of the elites. This is what the elites gonna do for you. Gonna After they set you up and let you make about 30 different movies, they are gonna kill you in a hotel room or somewhere. They are gonna say you committed suicide. Then they are gonna put all your movies on a box set and they are gonna sell them for a low, low price while you're bank. dead. And they are gonna make hella bank, hella loot off of you. And we're gonna be out here talking about it. That's all for mocking the most high. That's showing you you can't trust Satan, man. Alright? You better, well, I'm gonna say you better repent, but you can't repent because you done sold your soul already. You and that damn ice cube who was a Sodomite. That's right. Luke 6 and 24. But woe unto you that are rich. Uh huh. For ye have received your constellation. That's right. Woe unto you that are rich, you receive your constellation. And you we know you don't get what the rich you like, that young wise ruler, uh, the young ruler. Our young rich ruler, who you have, shall I say, sell all that you have and give it to the poor, and you went away sorry, because you're not gonna give up all your worldly wealth, which is really not wealth, okay? And all you that's got money in the bank, when they do do away with the dollar, when they implement this chip, you're all gonna be on the same level. You're gonna have four and three hundred million dollars of worthless bills in the bank. It's gonna be all useless. Yeah, and all if, right? if y'all was of the elect, you'd be like Moses. Yep. Right. Because when Moses came back to Egypt. He had he renounced yep. being uh, called Pharaoh's uh, daughter's uh, daughter's yeah. son, yeah. and right. he he didn't want to spend a season and wealth while his yeah. people were suffering. Like the scriptures say, he forsook the riches or uh, 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 the pleasures of sin for a season. Hebrews eleven. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, bring that out. Hebrews chapter eleven, verse uh, twenty-five. Mm -hmm. Choosing rather to suffer affliction right. with, with the people of the Most High than to enjoy the pleasures of sin. Season. That's right. So Moses, a man of the Lord, uh -huh. he was experienced. He had a, a life where he was living on top. That's right. But when he came back and, and he was sent by the Most High, he rejected that man. And yep. if, you know, most of my, most high might have mercy on some of you simple niggas up yeah. there if you denounce all this madness. Mm -hmm. 
But if if you want to still roll with it and then play both sides, you, your ass gonna be destroyed, man. Right. No okay. man can have two, man. Yeah, and you can't pick up these false prophets, cause y'all everybody should know Bubble Eye sold out, man. Of course. That nigga is totally juicy. But like you said, they're trying to work both sides. If you if you big up Bubble Eyes, and you can still be a part of the society that you in, yeah. and you can still say you're an Israelite, just like Shine, just like Amari Stoudemire, just like yeah. Whitney Houston did. But you saw how that turned out for her. You got more and more rappers. I saw a, a underground mixtape of uh, damn Rick Ross in the uh, Arab store, and he got the Shield of David on the front of the thing and his face on it, and the, and the title of the season is called Bob Mitzvah. You know, you're going to be destroyed, Rick Ross. That's right. Psalms chapter 84, verse 10. For a day in the, thy courts is better than a thousand. I have rather be I have rather be a doorkeeper in the house of the most high than That's right. well in the tents of the wicked. That's a wicked. bad scripture right there. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 read that again. Psalms 84 and 10. For a day, for a day in thy courts is better than a thousand. Yeah. I have rather be a doorkeeper in the house of the most high than to dwell in the tents of the wicked. Yeah, right. the tents of wicked. To be just say you was the last person of the one third to make it, man. Yeah. You rather be that person than to be these simp ass niggas that's up here in the entertainment world, like ASAP Rocky. Cause the more the more these niggas get into this, the more demonic they get. Like ASAP Rocky, he worship off of that. He's cross dressing. He's trying to push that vibration. Okay. All right. Oh well, yeah, like you said, Wiz Khalifa. Yeah. In one of his videos, Black and Yellow, they show about from that. Mm. And a sip ass nigga throwing up uh what they call it, uh, the rock horse. I forgot how to say it. Yeah. Yeah, Mono Kanuto, Kanuto, something like that. So these niggas ain't being uh uh they ain't behind this, they just kind of blatant out that they worship Satan, man. Yeah. And these niggas, you, you niggas just roll with it. Like every video is either black and white. And these niggas always wear either black, white, and red. Yep. Which is all Masonic colors, man. Okay? And they showing uh occultic symbolism in their videos like <coughs> satanic rituals yep so those type of niggas they just gonna be destroyed but these jakes that know about us if they know they israelites like cheap he just recently came out yeah and he got a song with a song called king king too wow i mean come on and he know if he say he, he been doing research about israel he know about great millstone of course the only thing is that you niggas get offended because we come at you man the okay. Lord is going to destroy a lot of you celebrity niggas, man. Oh, yeah. Because you, you like to dwell in the house of the wicked, the tabernacle of the wicked. Because you don't want to uh, <clears throat> uh, denounce those things yeah. like Moses did when he denounced his status and Pharaoh. Because okay. if you if you was the grand, supposedly the adopted grandson of Pharaoh, you you was highly esteemed, man. No Everybody doubt. wanted to be with you. Yep. But he denied that. And then you got examples in the scriptures, too, where... Men of the Lord did the right thing and they still got raised up in society. Look at Joseph, how he was made in Potiphar's house. Look yep. at Daniel, he was made a governor, you know, I, I think it was in Babylon or whatever. I mean, you got, you got, it goes on and on. When Jeremiah, when the, uh, when uh, uh, they got took down, I think uh, when the Assyrians took down uh, the Babylonians, maybe I, I might be off on, on that point, but whoever it was when they got took down. Oh, it was the Medes. When, it, well, when the Medes took them down, Jeremiah got, got looked after, you know, because he told him, look, if you give up when they come to take over, you're going to be saved. But if not, you're going to be destroyed. And what happened? Everybody didn't listen to what Jeremiah said. They all got destroyed. But Jeremiah, he was in virtual comfort, all right, oh, when, he, when he went there. So like, that's when the Jakes was trying to flee into Egypt. Because uh -huh. that also proves yeah. we're uh, Israelites. Yeah. All right, not them gutter ass, simp ass nigga, Amari yeah. Stoudemire. And I, like I said, I pray the most high destroy your legs. Why are you playing ball, man? <laughs> and he ain't right yet. He still ain't right. You know, as far as his health is concerned, he ain't back 100%. Because he endorsed them demons. Yeah, he do. Okay. Saying he converted to Judaism. But them Jakes, they had fled into Egypt trying to escape uh, the, 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 uh, the judgment of the, of the Lord sent uh, Nebuchadnezzar right. in Babylon exactly, yeah. against uh, the kingdom of Judah because they was going off. <laughs> yep. But then Jeremiah told him, which that go in, uh, the girl. these people going to worship tomorrow, of course, the queen of heaven yep. for Easter. Ishtar and all that. All right. And they came up against Jeremiah. He told him, well, you know what? The Lord gonna send the Babylonians into Egypt. Yep. They're gonna take down Egypt and you're, you're gonna get destroyed. Mm -hmm. And the re whoever don't get destroyed, they're gonna get taken to Babylon. That's what happened. Yep. So if you destined to be destroyed or destined for judgment, it don't matter where you run. Yep. You can run from America to Egypt, America to Trinidad and back. Yep. Okay? 
you still gonna be judged if you're not of the, of the elect. And that go back to Amara. If you think that for some reason by separating yourself from the brotherhood, that that's gonna make you safe, it's not. All right, the Most High, if he gonna make you, if he gonna set you up, he gonna set you up. Yeah. All right, but if he gonna destroy you, he gonna destroy you. And that's if you go to Trinidad, that's if you separate yourself from us, it doesn't make any difference. The Most High gonna do what he gonna do. And that's all. That's what all it's about. You know, you gotta have faith in you. It seemed like you lack you lack faith. Now you did make it a point to say he was gonna continue teaching. You know, but but that's, that's all well and good. But without the spirit of the Most High, you ain't going you're not gonna be profitable in, in whatever you're doing. You know, but that's yeah. You know, it is what it is. You can't do nothing without Yahweh Shah. That's right. Yahweh Shah Shah. But the point that we was expounding on right now is you entertainment people. Yeah. You know, the Most High gonna destroy yeah. the most of you. Okay, we know that's gonna happen. But I wanted to get back. I 